Okay, I was planning on seeing The Flash and reviewing it today, but then I was talking with my dad because Father's Day is coming up, and he was like, let's go see The Flash for Father's Day, and I was like, okay, I guess I can wait a few days. So we're seeing it on Saturday. In the meantime, I bring you my review of one of its competitors, the only other one I really care to see. Elemental. So Elemental is Pixar Animation Studios movie for 2023, and it takes place in a world where the citizens are composed of the natural elements, water, earth, air, and fire. And so keeping it vague because the trailers actually kept a lot of the plot vague, which I really appreciate by the way, we have Ember Lumen, she's fire. Her parents run a popular convenience shop in Firetown, which is a small section of this big metropolitan city called Element City. Real original, guys. Ember ends up meeting a water character named Wade, and the two of them end up going on an adventure and forming a relationship, and realizing that even though they are chemical opposites, they might have more in common than they initially thought. And that is our Pixar movie for this year. Now, I'll be honest with you, seeing the marketing for this movie, I was like, that does not look too good. The trailers featured a lot of those easy element jokes, you know? And I was like, oh, okay, so this is gonna be one of those Pixar movies that's more aimed towards kids and not the whole family. Nope! Once again, I was surprised by just how much I ended up loving it. I know this movie is getting mostly mediocre reviews, but I gotta say, it really spoke to me. I really love the main characters here. Ember, I mean, okay, I know this is a really easy pun to make, but it is the best way to describe her that comes to my head anyway, but she, yeah, she's a hothead. She has a bit of a temper, but you do kind of understand, you know, she has to live up to her parents' standards, which I love her parents too. Her father runs the shop and he really, you know, his ways are set in stone because he is from that older generation. I'll touch on that in a little bit. The movie touches on his past and his upbringing, what he brings to the present now with his relationship with his daughter, Ember, and how that affects their lives. It made a lot of sense to me. And so when Ember meets Wade, he really is Ember's opposite, not just in, you know, chemical makeup, but behavior-wise as well. He's really sappy. All right, that was a pun as well. That was not intended, actually. He's the gooey, mushy kind. He's a romantic. He's wishy-washy. And you know the old phrase, opposites attract. Sometimes. They do in this case. Now, one of the complaints I've heard about this movie is that its social message is way too, like, in your face, you know? This movie is inspired by director Peter Sohn's own immigration story. He's come out and said this himself. And Peter Sohn, I gotta say, he's a really good filmmaker. I mean, yeah, not only has he done some voice acting, he was the voice of Socks and Lightyear, he was actually the voice of Genki and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, but he was also the director of The Good Dinosaur, which is a criminally underrated Pixar movie. Doesn't get nearly as much love as it deserves. My point is that after watching this movie, I really feel for him and his message, and I get it. It really shined through for me. I mean, sure, yeah, it is really clear that it is based on an immigration story, that like all the elements are there, for lack of a better phrase. I'm not gonna spoil what they are because the trailers left a lot of it out, but they're impossible to miss. And I guess the reason it didn't bother me is because it is such a real thing, you know? I never felt like this movie was preaching to me, but rather it was just telling me this story, which is what it's supposed to do. It just happens to be inspired by very real things in our world. Nothing wrong with that. I imagine a lot of people might compare this movie to Zootopia, because that's another Disney animated movie with a really heavy social message. Zootopia, when I saw it, I thought it was alright, but I have not watched it again since I saw it that first time. I say Elemental is more like Turning Red, in that it's a Pixar movie where the trailers did not look that good in my opinion, and it ended up being great in my eyes. Yep, that was the case with Turning Red last year, that is now the case this year with Elemental. My favorite thing about this movie is the love story between Ember and Wade. And this is the part where I reveal that I'm a really sappy guy myself. The chemistry between these two characters, yeah, I know it's a play on words, but that's the term people use when two people get along in a relationship. So deal with it, moving on. It's so good. Cause like I said, these opposites attract. They balance each other out. Wade keeps Ember from burning out of control without putting her out. Whereas Ember is just so super impressive in Wade's eyes, they both bring something to each other's lives that they've never experienced before. I really felt that, man. I mean, there are scenes with just the two of them. I was like, this is so, like, sweet and moving. Yeah, I know, like I said, I'm sappy. I even cried during this movie. I shed a couple of tears a couple of times. Just all the emotions came across in every scene I felt. The writing was realistic enough. I related a lot to this movie. And yeah, of course the animation was really good too. I love seeing what there was to see in Element City. Everything's really shiny, really colorful. There were some scenes where surprisingly I was like, that's really cool looking. I just couldn't deny that. As someone who is a big fan of use of the elements in fiction, you know, like when people fight with the elements like Avatar The Last Airbender or Pokemon, I love when the natural elements are used in 
in fiction. So yeah, go figure with this movie. It pulls it off pretty well. For a movie called Elemental, it better. And it does. It's great. I will say a couple of those really cheesy jokes are in the movie, but not nearly as many as the trailers made it look. Dude, the marketing for this movie was terrible. I mean, the beginning of that trailer with Ember's voiceover, with all those element puns. Earth can be a little seedy. Water is always getting into something. Yeah, that voiceover's not even in the movie. I was happy about that. I was like, good, because that was just really bad, cheesy element puns. I wasn't digging that. I mean, yeah, there are still a couple in this movie, like that bit with the fence where they go through and they're like, why do they even have these? So yeah, there are still a couple of those jokes in the movie, but they are spread few and far between, at least that's what I perceived. And I'm not even gonna knock points out the movie for having those jokes because they're for the kids. The kids in my audience laughed at those jokes, so yeah. But more often than not, this movie chooses the dramatic moment over a humorous moment, which earns it major points in my book. And of course, to finish this review off, I had to talk about this movie's score, which was composed by Thomas Newman, who wrote the music for Finding Nemo, WALL-E, Finding Dory, some of the best scores ever in Pixar movies. Add Elemental score to that list, because the music in this film is awesome. It is that Finding Dory sound where it has like a kind of choir element, but it's different than other choirs you've heard in scores. Like if I didn't know that Thomas Newman composed this score, I would have been able to tell because I would have been like, that sounds like Finding Dory's score. This must be Thomas Newman. I love Thomas Newman's sound. He is one of my favorite composers. So yeah, all sorts of props to him and his score for this movie. In the end, Elemental was a great surprise to me. Again, I know it's getting mostly mediocre reviews, but I can't join that crowd. I loved this movie and I did not think I would. I love the characters, the animation is beautiful, the music is awesome, but the story and the chemistry between Ember and Wade, they make this movie. Call me a sap, I don't care, I fell for it. The social message in this movie didn't feel preachy, it was just a story being told. That's how you do a social message in a movie, you make it part of the movie's story. But it's not the only thing this movie's about. The tears I shed were real, so for Elemental, I will say, Go see this movie right now! Animated movies seem to be on a roll this year, at least for me. So elemental, have you seen it yet? What are your thoughts on it? Am I crazy? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And of course, thank you for subscribing. Peace!